All right, let's do some JavaScript. Now, what I want to do is, first of all, uh, I want to detect when the person is on top of the canvas, all right? The canvas, you're going to see what canvas is there, don't worry. Imagine that right now, for now, just imagine that canvas is a div, okay? That's all it is, a div. So what I want you, what I want to do is to detect when the person is on top of my canvas. That's all I want to do, literally, just this, all right? That's what I want to do. So let's, first of all, get the canvas. Canvas. Is it canvas? No, it's JS canvas like this. All right. Now here we're going to check if canvas exists because maybe canvas doesn't exist. But we're going to say canvas. If canvas, they're going to say canvas dot add event listener. And this one is going to be mouse enter. All right. And let's make a function real quick here called on mouse enter. But actually, we don't want mouse enter. We want is mouse move, I think. Mouse move, because we want to get the movement. We don't care when it enters. We want to get the movement, baby. On mouse move. All right, and this will give me an event. And I'm going to console log the event, because I want to show you how it looks on mouse move. OK. Refresh, inspect the element, console log. Uh oh, it's not defined. What? Bravo. Look at that. Okay, so mouse move, here we don't care. Here we care. So when the mouse when the mouse moves inside of our canvas. Nope. Yes. Awesome. Right, cool. So what I want to do here is I want to get not the, there's many things to get. Look at that. It says a screen, a screen, client, client, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to get any of those. What I'm interested in is something called the offset. Offset is the value relative to this piece of canvas. Okay. If I get, for example, the client, right, the client is the value of the, where the mouse is in the client, in the whole window. I don't want to know the coordinates of the whole window. I want to get the coordinates of the canvas because when I paint, I'm going to paint on the canvas. If you were making a canvas that is the size of the screen, then the difference of client X and offset X wouldn't be different. There wouldn't be a difference because it's the same. In my case, the canvas has a different X and Y and the screen has a different X and Y. So we are going to use offset X and offset Y. And that's inside of the event. So let's just get both of them. Event that offset X. I'm going to copy it in case I make a mistake. Okay. Done. All right. Perfecto. Now what I want to do is finish everything here. I guess that's it. Let's just console log X and Y to see if we're correct. Just to see that we're correct. We refresh and X and Y, X and Y, X and Y, X and Y. Perfect. Cool. All right. Nice. Awesome. Sweet. All right. Now, this is too little for the thing. So what I want to do now is, let me see. When the mouse enters, I'm going to be doing something like this, right? Now, I want to know when I click on the canvas. When I click on it, I should start, start painting, right? So we have to do that event as well. So canvas that at event listener. And in this one, it should be mouse down. So mouse down is when I click there, when I click and I don't let go. Not when I click, that's it, mouse down. Okay. And on mouse down. Right now we're not going to see any colors on the screen. We're just fucking around with events. Okay. Function on mouse down. Event also. And let's just console log the event. All right. Let's refresh. Inspect. 
on so and mouse down and I'm dragging right now I haven't stopped clicking so as you can see there is only one yeah there is only one event all right look at that okay I think what I want as well again is offset X and offset Y maybe but no what I want to do actually is to create something here called painting painting is going to be by default false but when the mouse is down I want to do paint <clears throat> I want to do painting equals true right yeah it makes sense perfect and the event I don't think it will do much but let me think we're moving and we get the x y and then click here and painting yes and I start painting in theory and then when I let go of the mouse painting should set to, should be set to false right so let's do again canvas add event listener mouse up mouse up on mouse up in theory that's what is going to happen again you're not going to see any colors on the screen yet I don't think we need, I mean, we need the event later, so don't worry. And here, painting, false, right? Okay, what else? What if I'm painting, for example, I'm painting and I leave the canvas. If I leave the canvas, painting should be set to false again. So let's do it, just one more event, canvas, add event listener, uh, mouse leave when the mouse leave we need to set the painting to false so I could do this on mouse leave right I could do this and then here I could create a function if I want to but what this will do is that I will be repeating myself as you can see here I'll be repeating myself painting false painting false so what would be better would be to create a function here called stop painting. And this will set painting to false. So on mouse up, I will do stop painting. And mouse leave, inst I don't need mouse leave at all. I can just do stop painting like this. The reason why I'm not doing mouse up stop painting as well is because we need to actually do the lines here later we need to actually paint something that's why but mouse leave can stop painting and it wouldn't be an issue it just stop painting okay my people i think that's it for the now for the events so now we have when the mouse moves yes when a person clicks when the person stops clicking and when the person leaves perfecto we're ready to start drawing some lines i will see you on the next one Bye bye